Shiny Gems, how's it going? I hope you're all doing well today. All right, so last time we talked about warps, commands, and before that, players and clans. Yes, yes, a mouthful, I know. But today we are going to be discussing economics, tab, and that is all we're going to be discussing. Why? Because there's a lot there and I figured if we could go through it with just this one video, it would be best. Um, we will not be using thespians to show you off how to do that part yet, just yet. We'll do that when we get to the thespians uh, video. So this is just showing you only the economics tab in the admin panel. Now, if you don't remember how to get to the admin panel, really really quickly I don't show this every video but sometimes we should show it go to um, settings and you hit server settings and then you click make me an admin now if you're part of a server server it's gonna probably ask you for the admin password or prompt you and then you'll have to put that in if you don't have the admin password then you're probably not an admin and you need to be an admin all right. And if you're on your single player, clicking make me an admin doesn't prompt anything. It just makes you an admin. And then you hit escape and you get this admin panel button. If you don't see it, hit escape again and then hit escape. So that way you can see it. All right. So we're headed to the economy tabs, economics tabs, tab, however you want to put that. We are going to ignore the profession merchant setting first because I want to go over to the currency settings before we do that, because that's gonna take um, a lot less time. <laughs> All right, so first and foremost, you have player starting currency. This is when they very first create their character and hit that desert, all right? Or the player market, depending on where your spawn point. Um, you can override the spawn points. We discussed that in the warps video. So this is when they first create their character, not every time they log in, but first create their character. You want to start off with them with 20 bronze, silver, or gold, blah, blah, blah. Um, payday, is it enabled? This is um, kind of important because is it enabled? It means they get paid at a certain time, day, or whatnot. Are you paying offline players? I recommend disabling this because it or or later on here uh make it very um very what what's very little i just turn it off because i don't um i don't uh reward players for is the tax man enabled it's pretty obvious what taxes are it just do you um, want them to be charged taxes? How much? Um, via percentage wise and what? Uh, drop on death percent. Percent of players wallet removed on death. This might be okay, especially if you make them keep what they have uh, in their inventories and on their um, body, in their tax basically. This might be okay. I just generally leave it alone because I have drop everything usually enabled and that's enough of a punishment for that. Okay. Server capital cap. Move on. Given currency given per payday. How much money are you giving them per payday? Ten or five whatever. Your choice. All you have to do is choose it. All right, so pay day currency. This is every seven days on the at noon on the server. You can use real time, which would be one hour of play time, um, uh, or every hour. Your choice. Um, I don't know. I kind of just do whatever. I usually keep it at real time, so it's like every thirty minutes they get paid. Um, but every hour is pretty good as well. Tax, same idea. Um, real time versus, uh, uh, 
in game time, right? You can change that as Converse conversion setting item to Pippi currency. This is important. Okay, Pippi gold of okay, so Pippi gold of select. Let's select an item. Let's select let it load. Let it load. Yeah, no, we're not going to go search. Go coin. So let's say um, Pippi Bronze is the same as one, which is old AOC currency, and it's item. Sorry. Uh, let Let's go here. There we go. Eleven zero twenty two, which is the bronze coin for regular Conan. Okay, it ex add item. Close. You can see it's right there. All right, so Pippi Gold should have done it on bronze, but that's okay. Pippi Gold, um, one, let's say, ten bronze of uh, bronze coins equals one gold. Okay. Now, understand, I would not do this. I would definitely not do this. But let's just say it's this conversion. Okay. 10, so 10 of bronze coin equals one pippy gold, okay? So if we go over to panel and get, type in bronze, B-R-O-O, and then we'll shift click, get a stack, or is it click? Yeah, it's left shift. Is it inventory? Oh, it did. So I have a ton of coins. All right, so ooh, I have a hundred coins, which means I should be able to get 10, 10 gold coins. Now, let's go back to admin panel really quickly under commands, really, really quickly. If you go. It should say convert gold. So convert gold will need to be in currency items to gold. So you'll have to enable this in order to make it work. So we'll enable it. Go exit and then go slash convert. Okay, hold on. Before we go, let's go to inventory. As you can see, I have zero gold. I have a hundred of those. So slash convert gold. Okay, so I converted 10 bronze coins into one gold. So I have 90 bronze and one gold. There we go. All right, so and then I can do it again if I wanted. And it converts. Now, anybody can do this unless you specifically put it as a admin command or otherwise, okay? And you can do that through ranks and whatnot. All right, let's get back to the economy tab. But that's basically what that is. It's 10 of whatever item equals that much gold, silver, or bronze, all right? Allow social merchants. Enable or disable this. This is important. This is different from profession merchants. Social merchants are your clans, trade, uh, trade traders basically. They can put items in there and sell them for how much ever they want for Pippi, and then get the money from them. And it has it's clan specific, or if the there's one person in the clan, it's personal. All right, so kind of keep that in mind if you enable that, and you'll have to give them a thespian. All right. Now, for professions, first you'll want to add a profession, name it. We'll name it, I don't know, armor. Okay, so create. Okay, now that it's created, we'll add another one. Weapon. Weapon. Smith. Weapon. Smith. Okay. okay. 
All right, each of these are separate. And because this one's an armor, let's add some items to it. And it's going to be, of course, armor. I'm going to add armor. It load. This is so much faster. I'm so happy with this. Okay, so these are like horses and stuff. Let's... Loading. <laughs> let it load, let it load. Unload. Let's add. I don't know. What should we add? We should add this. Add. So this is super nice. This is new. So before, once you hit add, it would close the panel. And it's so annoying because you'd have to find what you're looking for again. Now you can just hit add, add, add. This is awesome. Um, I, 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 I commend thee. Thank you. All right. So let's close. So the armor has all of these. Now, um, unfortunately, I didn't say how much was going to be the price. So... I might have to remove the item or edit the item. And editing the item is so much nicer than removing the item. Because now we can edit how much it costs and how much somebody will do it. So this is how much the merchant will pay for the item. I.e. how much it, if I had the item, they would sell it. I could sell it to them for one silver. But if I wanted to purchase it, Sell price, how much a player will pay to purchase it. If I want to purchase from the merchant, it's going to be five gold. Okay? That's um, basically what that is. Edit, and then we close, and there we go. So, buy price and sell price is based off of the merchant, not the player. Keep that in mind. It is based off of the merchant and not the player. Okay, so, and you can continue to do that. I actually pr like this because it means I can click this and edit it after I've gotten a ton of the items I want in there and call it good. Now, if we go to the weaponsmith and do kind of the same thing really quickly. Let it load. There we go. Say we want this one. And see, you can change the amount as well. Say you get like two of these or three of these for 30 gold that means and they'll sell three of them and they'll purchase three of them for 30 silver yeah item okay close again they will i just no i didn't yeah no i didn't okay yeah yeah, I did actually. So, how much the player may purchase. So, I kind of flipped it. So, yeah, it should be the other way around. How much the merchant will pay for the item. How much the player will pay for purchase the item. So, you need to flip it. Sell price is selling to the player. The buy price is the merchant buying it. Okay, yeah, I flipped them again. So, again, I flipped it here too. So, yeah. Even though I'm right, it's based off of the merchant. Uh, I'm selling it for five gold, and I'll buy it for one silver. That's right. How much the pair will play? Yeah, that is right. Close. So yeah, I did do it right. Uh, I just flipped the two. That's what I did. Yeah, so... Yep, so keep that in mind. It might take a minute for you to think about what you're doing. Um, just like it did for me, because I flipped them. Um, I want the player to pay 30 gold. Oh, that's the bottom one. It goes to zero. You can click on this and then just hit the type button and it'll go zero. And that's nice. And then you can do the same thing. And it's just a double click, okay? And then go here for 30... All right, yeah, it, you just double click it and you can um, do that and then you hit edit and then I will sell it to you for 30 gold. I will buy it from you for 30 silver. It's a huge difference, but 
it, it makes them think twice when they try to sell it back or when they purchase the wrong item. All right? Okay. All right, guys, that was the economy tab and the economics of Pippi Guides. I hope you enjoyed it, and most importantly, please don't forget, stay shiny!